Last week I made a video detailing five reasons why I believe PC gaming is better than console gaming. Yeah, I upset a handful of people. As expected, that's how gamers are. We're passionate, we get defensive, perfectly normal. But as promised, today's video is all about five reasons why console gaming is better than PC gaming. You heard me, let's talk about it. Hello guys, who are you? My name is David Franco from davidstwitch.com. Right there, follow me, I appreciate it. I stream pretty much every day, every single day. But Sunday, Sunday is the day of the Maui. Let us pray. Seriously though, let's talk about five reasons why I believe console gaming is better than PC gaming. Now, first of all, let me make this clear. I love my PC. I play my PC so much more than I do my consoles. So I'm not playing favorites. I'm not one of those gamers who says, PC Master Race, console master race. Cause I have to feel huge. I have to feel, I have to feel good about myself. I have to feel insecure in a way. That's what master race is to me, insecurity. Sorry guys, that is not me at all. I'm just the kind of gamer who plays anything and plays everything. And that's how everybody should be. But for today's video, let's focus on console gaming. Starting out with number one, it just works. I don't think anybody in their right mind can argue this. As much as I love my PC, and I'm sure my friends can back me up and my chat room can back me up. <sighs> PC gaming can be a huge pain in the ass sometimes. It really can. Drivers aren't updated. Your hardware is incompatible. Software that was working yesterday is suddenly running like shit today. But with consoles, you literally just put that little round object in, you know, the little disc, or maybe you can download it, and the game loads. Sure, there might be like a day one patch or whatever, but that's perfectly normal. But my point is, console gaming, it just works. You sit down on your couch, and you enjoy your game. How many times have you seen me on Twitch get frustrated over a sudden frames per second drop? Because again, like last week, maybe something like Overwatch was streaming just fine, but this week, I'm getting like 15 frames per second on stream. It doesn't make sense, and that's easily my least favorite thing about PC gaming, is that the experience is very, very fragmented. Number two, exclusives are everything. That is a lot of flashing. I have a tendency to switch between cameras on Siege. I freaking love Siege, guys. Siege is such a good game. Anyway, exclusives are everything, and sometimes PC users are left out. Grand Theft Auto V, anyone? It took, what, like a year or two to come out on PC? Red Dead Redemption 2, there's really no signs of a PC release coming out anytime soon. We've got the Xbox exclusives, which are mostly on PC, but there's some games that we miss out on. Obviously, the Switch has its own category of games. The PC, mark my words, will never, ever see official releases of games like Super Mario Brothers or uh, Yoshi's Crafted World coming out in a few weeks on the Switch or Pokemon games or whatever. It's just never gonna happen. And then of course on the PlayStation side, we've got games like Spider-Man and, and God of War and The Last of Us, anyone? The Last of Us is just an incredible experience all around and you're never ever going to see that on PC. So yeah, I mean, if you're only playing on PC, you're gonna miss out on some truly remarkable experiences on console. I'm gonna say it again, play anything and play everything. Don't limit yourself. Number three. Multiplayer games, I just have my notes right here, multiplayer games have a longer lifespan on console than they do on PC, for the most part. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, anyone? Blackout has been slowly dying on PC, even, even with this week's big grand heist update that finally released on PC, first on PS4 last week, uh, but the PC player base is just dwindling like crazy. Sure, an update here and there, I might see a little spike, but even the um, optimistic side of me says, nope, that spike's gonna quickly drop down again, and Blackout is kind of a dead game. Personally, I think it's more fun than Apex sometimes, but that's just me, I just, I just think the movement system's better, the guns are better in Blackout, but then again, Apex is more unique because of the respawn system, but I guess that's why we have the choice, right? It's a lot harder to find active multiplayer games on PC than it is console. I guarantee you, if you launch Blackout on PS4 or Xbox today, instantly, instantly, you're gonna drop into a full lobby. 
for the most part. But on PC, yesterday I was just playing Blackout, and I believe our game started at what, like 68 players max? Sad moment, sad moment. But then again, with games like Siege and Battlefield, I think the PC community kind of favors games like that, uh, or those rather, over console players. So it easily goes both ways. It just kind of depends on where the player base is and which platform you prefer. But keyboard and mouse, I cannot picture myself playing Blackout on a controller. I just can't. Number four, the home theater experience. You just can't beat it. This is something I miss all the time all the time when I'm PC gaming, is that I just don't have that home theater experience that I used to have. And yeah, I have my basement, which is still a work in progress, and yeah, eventually I will play huge, huge releases down there, like, you know, The Last of Us Part Two and whatever, and maybe even Crackdown 3, I don't know. Apparently that game is huge. I, I, I know nothing about Crackdown. But still, the point stands, uh, you just cannot beat that home theater experience. And please, don't even tell me, David, but you have surround sound on your headphones. No, 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 no. Nothing beats the experience of sitting down on a comfy couch, having a 65 inch 4K TV in front of you, two Polk Audio tower speakers, a Polk Audio center channel, and your rear speakers behind you with dual subwoofers, a nice receiver. That right there is the ultimate gaming experience. But David, you can play PC on TV. Yeah, you can, but I strongly believe PCs belong on a desk. PCs do not, I repeat, do not belong in the living room. It's just not a seamless experience. Even with like the Steam big picture experience or whatever it's called, or the Steam controller, I strongly believe guys, like PCs do not belong in the living room. It's just a very fragmented experience having the old keyboard and mouse in your, um, your uh, lap or your coffee table or whatever. It's just not the same. PCs in the office, on the desk, your gaming room or whatever, consoles on the couch. That's how it's always going to be with me. I will never, ever have a gaming PC hooked up to my TV. Ever. At least for, like, a gaming experience. I've had it hooked up to my Samsung TV, but only for the chat room. And that's because my last bedroom was very small compared to this bedroom. Technically, it's a bedroom. I don't use it as a bedroom. But, yeah, so there you go. Home theater experience. You just can't beat it. And please, hold your negative comments if you never played a game with surround sound. You don't know what you're missing. You don't know what you're missing. It truly is that much better. And number five, local multiplayer. Land parties on PC are fun, but they require a ton of work. I'm gonna say it again, nothing beats the experience of sitting down on a couch, but with friends. How many times have you played Melee, you know, Super Smash Brothers Melee or Mario Kart or the good old days of GoldenEye and Perfect Dark with friends. Those right there were the good old days. Now, do I miss them? Of course, here and there, but I'm perfectly fine with playing games on PC with my friends on Discord and chatting with my chat room over here. It's an experience that really is incredible, but part of me really does miss that local multiplayer experience that you just can't get on PC. Unless, again, you set up a LAN party which requires a ton of work. And yes, I've been to a few LAN parties. It's a ton of fun. But I haven't been to a LAN party in years, and I don't see myself being back at one for a very long time, or if ever. Hopefully, but I just don't see it happening anytime soon. So guys, there you have it. Those are my five reasons why I believe console gaming is better than PC gaming. And I'm going to do a quick recap in case you skipped around on the video. Number one, it just works. Number two, exclusives are everything. The Last of Us Part 2, anyone? Number three, multiplayer games have a longer lifespan on console than they do PC. Fact. Number four, home theater experience. You just can't beat it. And number five, local multiplayer is a lot harder to pull off on PC than it is on console. Turn off. So guys, there you go. What are your thoughts? Am I right? Am I wrong? Well, technically I'm neither because these are pretty much my opinion, but you are completely free to share your opinion right below. And if you want to further this discussion in real time, if you want to roast me in real time and see my face turn red, go to davidstwitch.com, give me a follow, and throw it at me. Let's talk. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Peace.